Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taza War from the GMS New Jersey camp. This one here is a quick hit. All right, Ecclesiastes 32 and 19. It says, do nothing without advice. And when thou hast once done, repent not. All right, that'll be the title of this lesson. But I want to start here in the 18th verse. All right, this is Ecclesiastes 32, which is also known in the book of Sirach in the Apocrypha. So this is Ecclesiasticus chapter 32 and 18. It says, a man of counsel will be considerate, but a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear, even when of himself he have done without counsel. It says a man of counsel will be considerate. All right, so I wanted to just bring up this word considerate, right? In a quick Google search, it says careful not to cause inconvenience or hurt to others. It says attentive, thoughtful, concerned, solicitous. Let's see, let's see this word. Solicitous. It says mindful. It says showing careful thought. All right. So a man of counsel is considerate, meaning he's careful. All right. Not to cause inconvenience or hurt to others. You know, other words similar, which is attentive, thoughtful, concerned, solicitous and mindful. So a care. So a man of counsel is mindful. All right. And careful. So let's read that one more again. It says a man of counsel will be considerate. But a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear. All right. And that fear is in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Which that fear goes down to men who are set up before you. All right. Men, spiritual men, who's the rule over you. Okay. It says, even when, when of himself he have done without counsel. You know. So you're supposed to do things with counsel to save yourself from the hurt. So it says a man of counsel will be considerate, meaning he'll be careful in his what in his own in his ongoings, okay? In his whereabouts, what he's and what he do, okay? Where in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai through his good grace of teaching us and learning his word, and we're a part of his body. And his body, it moves, all right, in a certain order. Okay? And that's starting with the heads. All right. It says a man of counsel will be considerate. All right. Before you do anything, seek counsel, get approval. It says, but a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear. All right. That word daunted. Let me uh, look that up real quick. word daunted it says daunt daunt it says make someone feel intimidated or apprehensive all right so the most high yahweh bashim yahweh shai he intimidates us because you're supposed to fear the lord all right before the lord brings judgment upon you and that starts with him first down to the men who he set up okay because the, the Lord set up men, okay, to carry his ministry until he get back. All right. So it says, make someone feel intimidated or apprehensive. Now you have similar words down here. It says, uh, intimidated, abate, abash. It says, uh, shake, riffle, ruffle. All right. So the Lord ruffles your feathers, so to speak. All right. And to save yourself from the hurt, you know, you're supposed to keep the order. All right. Can't go wrong if you keep the order. So it says a man of counsel will be considerate, mindful, but a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear. All right. That fear in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. It says even when of himself he have done without counsel. It says do nothing without advice and when thou has once done repent not 
So everything that we do is supposed to be done with counsel so that you can receive that advice. Okay? It says, Go not in the way wherein thou mayest, thou mayest fall and stumble not among the stones. All right? So go not in the way wherein thou mayest fall and stumble not among the stones. Okay? It says, Be not confident in a plain way. All right, so that's basically the point, all right? The point of this lesson here is to be considerate and seek counsel, all right? And if, um, you know, a man that won't seek counsel, then that man is considered a what? A strange and proud man, all right? A man, a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear, okay? They're not intimidated by the Lord. All right, they don't fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, even when of himself he have done without counsel. All right, so I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom.